Hi everybody, this is the Eco Local Guy. It's July 15th, 2011, and we're gonna take a look at our front yard garden. Everything's in prime time growing, and it's absolutely beautiful. Right behind me is our rogue sunflower. Came from the compost pile last year. We decided to keep it. It's growing in the potato patch. We have about five different types of potatoes here. And occasionally there's an amaranth growing as well. We didn't pull these because they're just a pretty plant and these are ready to flower. You see the flower up on top there? Purple amaranth. The seeds go everywhere, so if you're planting amaranth, keep in mind that you'll have amaranth next year in places where you may not want it. But then again, not bad where it is. Same with the sunflower. Look at that beauty. And behind the amaranth and the potatoes are tomatoes. So our nightshades are all in rows in the front here. The baskets have kind of fallen down, but you can see the tomatoes there. These are the paste tomatoes. I believe we're making sauce out of these. Behind the tomatoes are tomatillos. Kind of a Mexican tomato, great for tomatilla or green uh, salsa. See them there? They have kind of a green sheath around them. You peel that away, you can chop them up, make a fresh salsa, or you can cook it, make a nice enchilada sauce, green enchilada sauce. Here's green peppers. we got a beauty right there. And interspersed is some radish. We pick those and eat them and make a delicious pesto out of the greens. Planted some fresh basil here. And the next row is our peas. These are the snow peas. At this point in time, the peas are kind of waning. So we're letting the pods that are left go to seed. So they're swelling up and they're gonna dry out. And we'll use that for next year's seed. In front is some of the broccoli that's going to seed as well. And we have petunias scattered about for a pretty accent. Here's some cabbage. So some brassicas alongside the peas. Now alongside the house, we have actually chia growing right here to capture some chia seed. We have some leeks right here. And down in the trench over here, celery. And behind the celery, We've got green beans. From last year winnowing the amaranth, we have a big cluster of amaranth right in the corner. It's now flowering, so we left it there. Then we move on to the herb garden in the front of the house. The dill has pretty much taken over the front corner here. More amaranth. And there's some thyme right here. Right on the sidewalk, we've got some oregano in the back, some zinnia flowers. There was some coriander in the back here in the corner. And here's the main garden. We've got onions, spinach, carrots, and there's some lettuce greens that are kind of reaching their end, bolting, more amaranth. And there's a whole set of Brussels sprouts. We've got scallion onions. And we've got some, a strawberry patch. And then we've got, Amer excuse me, we've got Napa cabbage. And this is just about ready to make into kimchi. We can preserve this all through the winter. Uh, black kale otherwise known as dinosaur kale. Beautiful leaves there. We've got a yellow squash right here. And another paste tomato. Out in the front, we've got our apple tree. 
This is the second year for this apple, so it's just starting to produce apples. And in the front, also just starting to produce our blueberries, which these are um, from bare rootstock. They're still trying to establish themselves. We've got a nice uh, bed of mulch here, though. Here's a few blueberries right here. And then over to the sunflowers and the corn. We're growing corn in the front yard. There's our other apple tree, brand new this year. This is going to be empire apples. And then on over to another bed over here, which is a sour cherry tree. Another giant sunflower popping up at random. We've got some beans over here. Some butternut squash. And over here, oh, there's some radish. And then we've got Syrian pumpkin, which is uh, useful for the seed. So it's quite the gardenscape here. All in the front yard. And here's actually the fence and all the petunias. Here in a little piece of suburbia. Look at that diversity. Absolutely beautiful. You can do this too. Start with a small patch and just take over the grass and add things that you can eat. This is after a couple years of building up and this is what you see. We come out every day and we grab something to eat and eat it fresh and delicious. Over here is the Wonderful. side yard and we've got more mature blueberries. These ones are actually bearing fruit all along this rock wall here. There's actually a strawberry plant. And we've also got wax beans behind it. And then the neighbors are also engaged in gardening. He's got all his pickles up there. He's also got potatoes. And here's the rest of the side garden. We've got German heirloom tomatoes here. They've gotten so big. It's hard to actually see through the number of vines there. Come around the side. There's a rhubarb we've been enjoying all spring. More green beans. There's some sweet peas right there that are kind of waning. We've got more potatoes. Golden purslane. This was some arugula. And the neighbor's tomatoes. And then we've got some cucumbers growing here. So that's the side yard. Now let's take a look at the backyard where there's nothing growing that's a plant, but we have some creatures back here. Let's take a look. You can see that we're not doing a whole lot of uh, mowing, but if you let actually the land grow to whatever nature provides, it can be quite beautiful. Over here is our compost pile. This is all last year's compost. And then over here is our chicken coop. Those are the creatures that are growing in the back here. And if we take a close look, maybe we'll see some chickens. Bok, 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 bok. Bok, bok. There they are. Bok, bok, bok. This is a New Hampshire red. Here comes a barred rock, Plymouth barred rock. And look at this, there's some young ones we have back there. Look at this wonderful landscape they've got to enjoy their lives in. We live in a suburban plot. You can see the neighbors behind us, but they'd never even know the chickens were here because of this whole wooded back lot. Here's some more of the chickens. We've actually mixed an old flock with four adult birds and we brought these young birds in in the spring and they're actually getting along. 
We introduced them a few weeks ago to each other. And now the young ones are almost as big as the adults. We've got more New Hampshire Reds, some Buff Warpingtons, and we've got some Americanas. They're little birds, which you can see one over there next to the golden one. That's a Buff Warpington and an Americana. There's another Americana coming up. So there you have it, folks. Front yard gardens. Backyard chickens.